Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, let's have a look at the Leonis Colosseum. This is the uh, PvP tournament. They are showing a bunch of kind of the, uh, the quarterfinals uh, in the lead up to the second anniversary livestream. I think there will be four videos in all, maybe four uh, battles per video. And then uh, rules for this map uh, no collaboration characters allowed. And then you cannot change the uh, starting position. You could, like, you know, stack everybody on the far right or the far left, but here it's just going to be the three starting uh, positions. Okay, but we have a Mono Fire versus Leela, Helena, and Joom. And then with no collaboration characters, uh, that's going to sort of hurt Dark Lightning, of course, with uh, no cloud. And so the uh, the developers, and then Asarato, he's the guy on the right there, uh, they were thinking that uh, Fire and then Earth would be particularly strong. Uh, but because Fire uh, was going to be so strong, a lot of people seem to be building to go against Fire. But we got uh, M. Armand here throwing rocks, also uh, Halloween Federica. And Oberon with his barrier, he's taking that magic okay from uh, Leela. Okay, magic resistance up on Federica. And then Joom, she has, I forget if it's a natural jump 2, uh, but she can get jump 2 pretty easily, which is why uh, that player positioned her right on that left side so that she could jump up on that uh, that uh, wall there. This is a good map for uh, projectile attackers. Um, especially like uh, calculators that can attack from uh, different heights, and then also like archers and stuff. But then to get up there you need the jump 2, so the, uh, the, the Tor Marine Ring, which gives you jump 1 for the first turn, that could be useful here. Uh, there are some other tanks with jump two, like uh, Megamont. I suggested uh, Muraga in the comments, and then uh, Director Fujita said that he is only a sub tank. I was very offended by that. <laughs> okay, but it's just June by herself. Uh, June is great, but at the end of the day, she is a tank. She's not going to make like super big waves in the meadow. Oh, wind too is also kind of at a disadvantage because of no 2B. Oh, but yeah, as we saw earlier, Oberon, very strong, was able to take down Helena and then a Halloween Lilo. Alright, but we just got tank versus tank. Mont really doesn't have the, uh, the damage output to survive here, I think. Alright, another stone throw. Alright, and then there he goes. Okay, next battle, we have Ninja versus Ninja. <laughs> and I'll try to remember as much as uh, what the, uh, the commentators said during the matches. Uh, Mr. Fujita, he is uh, the director in the, uh, the center there. Uh, I guess assistant director. But uh, his knowledge of the, uh, the game is very, very deep. And so like he's watching uh, the characters move and he can tell like uh, what they're equipped with or like what skills they have on or off. And like he can also look at like the order of when they're moving, and he's like, oh, that character's fast or that character's slow, slower than usual. All right, but we got uh, mono water versus mono earth. And then uh, this match, maybe more than any other, was very nice in like how the other uh, players were working to set up the AI uh, so that they would all buff each other. So we're seeing lots of buffs here in the beginning. 
Uh, that can be done with lots of testing. And uh, looking at the uh, the Twitter accounts of the uh, the like the finalists of these matches, they are spending a ton of time in uh, like mock battles. I saw one person say that he spent uh, 25 hours in mock battles getting ready for this, and that's not like you know 24 hours like a day you know playing the game. It's like the actual in battle time, 25 hours doing this. <laughs> So yeah, people are uh, kind of modifying the AI and then the equipment and the positioning and everything uh, within an inch of their life. Uh, but here comes Falm. She is a cost 90 standard unit. And actually, she might be the most recent uh, release. There have been many, many uh, limited characters coming out. Uh, but I like Falm on paper. Uh, she's a main job ninja, but also has reflex, like we see there, uh, from the uh, the hunter sub job. And then she has pretty good uh, magic resistance as well, so she could be another uh, attack scaled attacker uh, with uh, good magic resistance. I have her, but at like limit break one, so <laughs> if I did want to build her, it would take a while. Okay, Ildira, she recently got her EX job. Alright, Drain Force on El Shirel, she goes down. Oh, she does not go down. Uh, she barely survives, which the, uh, the JP players uh, kind of nickname uh, Real Guts, <laughs> rather than the, uh, the actual Guts. Okay, big ol' damage from Oberon's Limit Break again. I hope people in Global have gotten their hands on uh, Oberon and seen how much damage he can really do. Uh, but yeah, I feel like I didn't sell Oberon's damage output well enough when I was making videos of him. I feel like Global folks were uh, unsure of how much damage he would actually do, but hopefully he's doing well for people. Might be too early to say that though, without uh, Elificaris and then the uh, the Elemental Spear. Okay, Mono Dark versus versus Jaden, Oberon, and Ildira. And then the other uh, two uh, folks here, uh, Director Fujita and Asaruto, uh, they were not expecting Dark to do well on this map at all. Uh, they too, well, Asaruto, he's joining, he's one of the, uh, the finalists, uh, but the, uh, the director, Fujita, uh, he also did some testing in here. He tested a bunch of different element teams, and he felt like Dark was not really uh, doing well in here. Another character that they're missing is uh, Prompto, who could uh, do well in here. Uh, but this uh, player is going for Mono Dark. Okay, we see Super Stern here. And then the other uh, two commenters, they were saying like, like this team was not focused so much on getting all the buffs on everybody. It was more kind of focused on uh, keeping Super Stern back so that he would not come out in front right away. And yeah, lots of folks, they just say, you know, get your agility as high as you can get, get your movement as high as you can get. But that's not always the best uh, thing to do. My playstyle is a little bit more kind of turtly. So I like the other team to kind of take their actions first, and then I can, uh, you know, react to that. Work from uh, behind. All right, Oberon's limit break again. Evade up from Super Stern. And here comes Dwayne, Darkness, big damage there. Take down those two guys. And Hazard Injury, that's the upgraded Hazard Crash. Ildira's still up though, heals herself. 
and then early twilight. If Jaden had gotten on top of the, uh, the walls there, he might have done better. But maybe he was pulled by uh, hate or something. Okay, last match of this video. Okay, mono fire versus mono fire. These were the teams that the uh, commentators were expecting to see more of uh, in this battle. Uh, especially with uh, Setia as a, uh, a ranger type. She can get on top of the wall and then uh, get uh, good attacks from there. And then Rain on the other side, that's kind of unusual. I love him, but not super popular. He does have a low agility, which I don't mind, but a lot of people do. And he's really only good at taking magic damage. <laughs> All right, Super Stern definitely has got the uh, Shukuchi on for the uh, move and jump plus one. Okay, Flame Impact. Pretty good damage on Megamont. Alright, there's the large AoE attack. Take down Megamont. Alright, there's the Scholar Subjob. I don't use that Subjob enough. I, I should though, that's a strong attack. Alright, big AoE from Setia. Reaction rate down. Alright, there goes the other Megamont. And let me break from Rain. Imperil Fire, two hits. But Gurasuda will not go down. And Barrier Break Arrow, take down Rain. Okay, that'll do it for the, uh, the first batch. I'll put up uh, the next three or so videos over the next couple of days. And then I have a playlist uh, for like the last half year of all of the other previous uh, lead up matches to today. All right, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.